<laughs> yeah, that's been stuck up on me. I didn't know I was doing an editorial. Anyway, I'll do one anyway. You ask for it, I'll give it to you. Here we go. Now, Damien Hardwick. What happens, Caroline, when they get on the ABC? Does everyone get all bullshy over there? What's happening over there? On the weekend, Damien Hardwick had this to say about uh, he believes the NRL are doing it the right way compared to the AFL. Oh, look, I really uh, applaud the, NR, uh, the NRL for the aspirational type of leadership of giving a date. I, I love a, a carrot, so to speak. I, I love a date to work with. Now, the thing I hate about that is if you're going to have a button-down shirt, do the buttons up on your collar. That's... I really think... Fin- <laughs> Are you serious? No. He's the best presented coach in the AFL. Well, and you're he's still he... doing a button-down your collar, but... Go re- on, re- make re- your point. I just haven't seen anything that uh, has impressed me with the NRL as far as what they're doing at the moment. I, I think Peter Valenti's doing a good job in, as far as shaking things up and doing things, but I prefer to see what the AFL are doing, and that is showing social leadership, doing the right thing by the community and taking people through in a professional way. Now, we've had a bit of a you know, fizz up because of the Players Association last night going to one extreme, but on the whole, everyone's doing it the right way, showing the respect to people in the community and doing the social thing to bring people through on social isolation and physical Damien isolation. Damien Hardwick then did go on to explain that the AFL was being incredibly responsible and he had enormous sympathy, sympathy with their position. If you watch the whole interview... Now, that's fantastic. I I, I, see, that was called fishing. Because yeah. now I've got Caroline Wilson defending the... Not the media, but defending the person there saying that it was misquoted by an editor. No, or not he wasn't, the whole no it wasn't misquoted. He, he, that, what he said there was very newsworthy. Did and you agree with it or not? I, no, I, I don't think the NRL have been responsible at all. I think I think the NRL... I mean, Ed's having a bit each way here. I've been very critical of Peter Volandis and he's blueing with the broadcasters still mm. and he's got some enormous issues. But it's newsworthy when an AFL person... I think what Damien was showing was his frustration as a coach. He's desperate to have something to give his people, oh. to give his players. Like everyone else, sit back and at the right time, you'll be told. Let Ed, the people do what they have to... What, how, does, how do you go again with that... To, Rossi? Which bit? Cobblers. Let cobblers? the cobblers do the cobbling. Let the Ed. cobblers do the cobbling, and that's the uh, Ed, Ed, AFL If we had your way, moment. we wouldn't have a show to do every week because you'd just be telling everyone to calm down and there's no, nothing in this. this is a, nothing to see plenty here. To go on well. There's some genuine acrimony going on, Ed. You're a rich club, you don't know, but <sighs> there are a lot of the poorer clubs who are saying it's going to cost us more money to play than not play. The AFL are controlling our purse strings. strings. They're going to push us further into debt because we won't get any money out of these games. Caroline, there is no such thing as a rich club anymore. We are all officially at the end of this year broke. There is yeah, no such thing as a rich club. Come anymore. on, Ed. You can afford to pay your wages for a bit longer than a lot of other clubs. Yeah, I know, but Caroline, and you've got a huge the other, potential the other of getting back on board next year. You do. Well, no, you do. The, your yeah, members will stick fast. Yes, well, I hope they do, and they are, which is fantastic. But the point that I want to make there is that the other clubs also don't have to worry about generating that money because they get the money from the AFL. Equalisation is fair. to pay the players. They're only everyone. getting money this year no, to pay the players. No, they don't. No, but the, the AFL will pay for the hubs and the AFL will pay the players who go into those hubs. Yeah. But in the past, yeah. Adelaide or Richmond or Collingwood or Sydney would be getting a lot of money from their gate and their yeah. corporate situation so that they can't generate at the moment. That's right. There are clubs who are saying to me, the AFL is still getting the TV money, we're getting nothing and we're having to go further into debt to survive. Because uh, And they're saying, why is the AFL not going to incur Caroline, any can debt? I, can I say, the, the clubs that are who are assisted, are going to be well looked after. The AFL and all the clubs have gone into this one in But all they'll them. be further in debt. No, well, yes, everyone's they going will. To, but everyone's going to be in debt. Uh, Collingwood had... You know, we're going to go through our cash supplies before we get to the end of this year. So, we've, so you'll we've, be we've, an assisted we've, club before the end of the year? We, well, no, we'll keep fighting. We'll keep fighting as long as we can. Hopefully we get back and play and that'll get us through to the next stage. But I can guarantee you there's no such thing as a rich club going forward. There are clubs that will continue fighting to sustain their independence and generate their own money, and there'll be clubs who will be provided by the AFL, and that, of course, means by the other clubs as well. You know, Collingwood gets, I think, $9 million and has to find $3 million for the salary cap every year, and other clubs get 15 to $20 million on top of... That's another $7 or $8 million. Matthew, you've got a question? No, I just want to make the point. What if, Ross, on May 28, the NRL get going? And they don't miss a beat there. What would you say about Peter Volandis in that sense? Would you I'll, s- I'll say he's been lucky. Been lucky? Not a genius? Well, in the end, if you're judging it on outcomes, mm-hmm. well, it's yeah. worked out well. Yeah, but I think there's a lot of water to flow under the bridge here. Yeah. Do you think it's going to happen? Well, at this stage, they'll play, won't they? Well, they don't have a plan. I think the good thing about Gillan McLaughlin is when he does make his announcement, there'll be a fixture. 
at least for the first eight weeks, yeah. and there'll be a plan, and we'll know where the hubs are and what they'll entail. And, and if the they AFL happen. have been great citizens. They've been.